What's going on everybody? Happy Saturday. I know, I'm at a show. Um, I want to get a video out today. And, pretty crazy. Uh, New York Rangers fan knocked out Tampa Bay Lightning uh, fan at the game last night. I'm going to cut to the video here. And when I come back, I want to talk about it. And then, hit with... I think, you know, a lot of this stuff eventually is going to start, I think, transferring over to, you know, shows that have alcohol and stuff at them. I'll, I'll get back to that here real quick. Let me cut to that video you guys can see. You don't know what's up! <laughs> He's dead. Okay. Yeah, he died. Whose phone is this? All right, guys, I'm back. So, like I said, very despicable act onto it. I'm pretty sure, more than likely, alcohol was probably involved into it. Um, I mean, why? I mean, is it to show, you know, our masculinity? Is it to show that we're tough? You know, to make you feel good? Whatever it may be across the board onto it. Um, th this should not happen at all. I, I can see, you know, these incidents are not very few. These happen at all games, whether it's tailgating for football. I've seen these uh, videos popping up left and right. And, I mean, honestly, th this is not good stuff to sit there and teach, you know, kids out there. It's cool to do this stuff, whatever it may be. Uh, fighting just, you know, it's just not there. You want to be a fighter, become a boxer, go in the ring, get paid for it type deal. This stuff here just, it, it drives me insane. It had me thinking here while I was prepping for the show. Uh, there's been some instances that's happened at card shows before. Namely, Atlantic City at the National last time I saw a couple of tapes reeling around with a couple of fights that got were involved in it. Yes, it happened because there was alcohol there. I'm just thinking, well, got National this year because, hey... Market, as everybody calls it, or the hobby, as I call it, prices are down. Values are down. Cash is the almighty dollar. At the National, you got a casino. How many dealers are going to go there and lose money? <laughs> and then have to sell more and more cheaper prices. I, I can just see it going bad. The more and more I think about this, uh, with this... There's a lot of trade nights that go on after shows. I I've seen videos where people are drinking into them and the trade nights. You just have to really not pay attention to the person talking and look at the surrounding area. You'll see guys with beers and stuff like that there. What's to say is somebody doesn't like, you know, somebody's price. They get all upset because, you know, hey, I know bet more than you on card pricing and this turns around into something like this here. What happens if a known scammer out there gets beat up at a show, walking out of a show, at a trade night, whatever it may be out there? You know, does a scammer deserve it? Well, that's a different opinion of mine. <laughs> we won't touch that area. That's, that's the really, really, really gray area. I mean, I could tell you guys stories with it, basically... That there was an instance in New York, this was years ago, a guy named Vinny. I won't throw a last name out there. But he was known as scamming people on Facebook and eBay. Mostly Facebook from what I recall. And he was at a dealer's table getting ready to sell those uh, stolen cards. And a guy confronted him, put it on tape. I wish I could find that video, it was on YouTube. I'm going to try to dig for it and show you guys this. 
And the dealer didn't care that he was receiving cards that could be allegedly stolen. He was more mad the guy was videotaping. To me, you know, a lot of things could have transpired. A guy could have got really upset, beat up, a.k.a. Vinny. He could have just grabbed his case and left. There, there could have been all kinds of things that went on. In the heat of the moment, depending on how people's aggression is and everything else, bad things could really come out of it. And I, I really hate saying this, but in the age that we've been in, what, the last four or five plus years now, even probably longer, with um, gun violence... No, I'm not against purchasing and owning guns. Trust me on that. I got plenty. But, you know, something like that could, you know, turn around because how many card shows do you go into that you're going through a metal detector? Minus, like, probably the National, maybe Dallas. I'm not sure. Never been there. And stuff like that. How many dealers carry a pistol with them or somebody that's in there has a pistol on them because they got a concealed permit? You know, things could transpire, uh, tra transpire. <laughs> yeah, I guess I was using the right word, transpire, or transpire, oh my gosh, it could really escalate, there we go, that's the word I'm looking for, escalate very quickly in the heat of a moment out there, but it just brought some thoughts into my mind about how I have people approaching me and they, they think that they deserve a card at my table at 70%, and they get mad, mad, I mean, infuriated. I just laugh. I'm like, because they think they're entitled to that. You know, what happens if I was set up somewhere to serve public alcohol and that guy got mad? I mean, is he going to start slamming things in front of me? Is he going to want to fight me? You know, it just, it, different things started just popping my mind on to So I'm just curious, you know, a lot of people go out to shows. And I mean, I'm trying to deviate from the video itself onto it. What do you guys think? Do you think that, you know... With where we're at, we'll call this a recession, a crash, whatever you want to call it out there. Do you think we're going to start seeing any kind of violence, especially if there's alcohol at the shows or they come in there intoxicated, stuff like that there? I mean, I'm just curious offhand of anybody else's thoughts. It just had me really, really thinking about it as I was uh, packing up for the show. And I was like, I, I, I could see... Where this stuff's been happening for a while, but could this transfer over into that? Because I've seen some angry people. I've seen dealers at tables, you know, yelling at people. Like, he's like, you, uh, tell him walk away before he beats them and stuff. I mean, I've seen this at shows. It, it's been uh, probably within the last two to three years. I mean, pure anger, aggression coming out of people over stuff like that. I mean, I can understand if a guy steals your card and stuff and you tackle him to the ground and, you know, you're holding him there <laughs> until authorities come, something like that. I kind of got that. But just some of the stuff that it's over and that, wow, it, it's it's really insane. But I'm curious everybody's thoughts on to it. Not about the, the, well, you guys could talk about if you want about the fights that go on at these uh, professional games and stuff, how they get banned for life and all that. But I'm more thinking about the hobby itself, you know, with the shows and everything else that's going on out there. What do you guys honestly think? Do you think it'll ever trans transfer over? Do you think since we're going to Vegas for the National with alcohol, do you think we're going to get videotapes of something bad going on out there? I know stuff went on last time bad out there. All right, guys, that's it. I've been jaw jacking for a while here. Take care. Have a good one. Catch you all, uh, tomorrow with a PSA 10,000 club member video and hopefully I get some decent footage of the show for on uh, Monday's video. See y'all later.